and up under here because oh y'all i used to neglect um putting a darker color up under here contouring up under here but when i tell you i took a picture one day and i looked like professor clump like it was like a Looking so stupid. I'm like, uh uh, I need to start contouring right there. Cause I ain't got time. Good morning, y'all. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day today. Um, let me take my ring off before I forget. Um, I am getting ready to go to a doctor's appointment. It's actually a post op lipo appointment for a treatment called Venus. And you guys, I decided to do a get ready with me. I tried to do one the other day, but it was an epic fail. So I just went on ahead and deleted it, edited it and everything, girl, but it was just terrible. So I was like, I'm gonna try this again. Still don't have my tripod, still don't have my ring light, but I'm gonna make do. I'm already running kind of late per usual, but I'm like, let me do a get ready with me and a chit chat while I do it. Because I actually really, really like watching those types of videos. So. I am going to do that. Uh, this is e.l.f. primer, really cheap. Got it from Walmart. Uh, it's really good, hydrating primer. Let's get started. Okay, y'all, so this chit chat today is gonna be about when am I getting married? So most of you know that I am engaged. I took my ring off. Uh, for this video because I don't like wearing it and getting product and stuff all in it and get skunky. Oh child, this is kind of hard because I am not a multitasker, but I'm going to do it for y'all. This is my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit. I just use this to set my, I put, um when I did my eyebrows, I put uh, concealer on them. Okay, so um when am I getting married? Y'all, that's a good question. So, as you know, most girls always dream about their weddings. From like when they're little and I'm no different. Like I've always dreamt about having this big extravagant wedding for no reason at all. But y'all, let me tell y'all this. I really honestly feel like when you're in love, you don't care. I mean, of course you, you want to do something and you want to be able to share that moment with other people that you love. But I really just feel like at the point I'm at right now, I just want to enjoy each other you know what i'm saying like i have brides all the time and they they are stressed out y'all they are so stressed out and i'm like do i want to go through that right now like do i want to mess up my happiness not saying messing it up because they're still happy but do i want to really put that stress on my life right now and we are doing good like and then honestly we're focused y'all i have never in my life been this focused i hope this angle is good i get distracted really easily by life and um, I'm just gonna be candid with y'all for a moment and honest. Sometimes I do kind of suffer from depression. Like it's not like that deep, like, oh my God, I can't do this anymore. But it gets to the point sometimes where I don't even wanna get out of bed. Like, I'm just like, forget it, it's no point. I don't even care. Um, So it's like, why bring unnecessary stress into my life right now when I have so much focus? Y'all, I've been praying, I have been reading my bible um if that's not what you believe in and that's cool whatever but that's what i do to get me by and i just feel like i feel like god is telling me like stay focused child because you just be all over the place like focus on your family focus on your business like and that's it like in your health that's it so um and another thing too it's been a lot of family stuff going on um so it's like I'm not even gonna lie to you, it's people that if I did have a wedding right now, I would not even invite. I would not even look their way. And I know that sounds so terrible, but I'm just keeping it real with you guys. So um, it's just like, why why I go through that right now? Then let me tell y'all another reason why I don't wanna go through that right now. I do when I do have a wedding. Um, I want it to be extravagant. And I don't mean extravagant in size, like, because I, I want it to be very, very intimate with just like the close people that I love. But I want, I want like a million, thousand, twelve hundred, forty-five 1245 fresh flowers. Like I want um, silk chiffon flowing in the wind and 
all that stuff. Like I just want it to be extremely beautiful and extravagant. And I want like I want doves. I want like ridiculous stuff. And I want to also I'm doing a simple look today, guys. Oh, I didn't even tell you what this is. This is actually a palette that I got from AliExpress. Um, it's Beauty Glaze Glitz Glam Eyeshadow Palette. And it is really good. It's super pigmented. I love it. But, um, yeah, like, I want to be able to, and this is going to sound so crazy, but I want to do everything for my wedding as far as design. I want to do the gowns for the bridesmaids. I want to do my gown. I want to do Maddie's dress. I want to do the, the tuxes and stuff. And by the way, I don't know how to do tuxes right now. So I'm just like, yeah, maybe I should wear Did I blend, girl? Because I'm just, I feel like I'm focusing more on talking than actually doing my makeup, which is the point, right? Um, This is another palette that I got from AliExpress. Y'all, I love makeup palettes from AliExpress. Um, they are really good. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and let me show you the palette. And they, they be like having some good stuff. These girls be finding some good stuff. So I just been trying my luck and I, the, the three palettes I have bought from AliExpress have been very, very good. But yeah, y'all like I want, I want to make myself like, um, a gown that I would probably spend about $20,000 on getting it from somebody else. And like, I don't have the time for that right now. And honestly, we're investing every dime that we have back into my business and back into his music. So it's like, why in the world would we give up that focus right now? And that, that those investments So I'm going to blend this real quick and I'm going to get back with y'all because I'm going to be looking like a fool if I keep talking while I'm... Okay, so I wanted to say this. I really wanted to say this to y'all. Stop focusing on what other people think. A lot of people go into debt or put themselves in messed up situations and end up actually ruining their relationships because they're so focused on what other people are going to say or like I don't know I don't know what I just did to my eyes, y'all. This is a weird angle to try to do this at, but anyway, I'm gonna keep on pushing. So, um, I'm, I was saying, like, stop. Okay, stop focusing so much on what other people think about you. Like, why do you care? When you go to bed at night, are they in the bed with you? Like, when, when you go to pay your bills, are they there to help you? Like, I don't understand why y'all care so much about what people think. Like, people will do stuff just for the optics of it just for how it looks like because they're afraid that people are going to say oh y'all these are some um mink lashes that i'm thinking about selling i really like these i think they're super cute i haven't tried them on yet this is actually my first time so let me see how they look but guys stop caring what other people think about you especially in your relationship like i'm telling you that's a surefire way to end a relationship y'all will spend fifty thousand dollars on and, and let me tell you something when i speak i speak from experience or things i have seen and i have brides i don't know which end i want to cut but i have honestly seen some people do like spend all this money on these weddings and then they're miserable afterwards and they're like, why in the world did I do all that? But in reality, they only did it because they wanted to show out for their friends or they wanted to do this big production for their family. Half the family don't even like them. So it's just like, they just there to be nosy to see what you got going on. Like If that's not in your heart to do, it's, if it's not because that's what you and the person you love and plan on spending the rest of your life with want to do, then I just don't understand why you would go through the stress and the emotional stress the financial stress um the physical stress of doing all that and like i don't get it 
Like, what are you trying to prove? I'll do that one, these, these down here. Good God, these are big. Ooh, child. I don't know about these, y'all. Let me put the other one on to see how I feel. I'm still trying to get into these big lashes. Yeah, so why would you do all this when these when these credit card bills come? Because you done ran this credit card up to do this little fancy wedding. I guarantee you, all those people that came to your wedding, out of all of them, you can't call not one. Or maybe you can't call one. But... What is the point, y'all? Now you and your mate stressed out because y'all getting foreclosure notices and all this and because you defaulted on your mortgage and it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, honestly, a lot of millennials, though, will go to the courthouse and I, I know a lot of couples that have and they'll do a honeymoon, a really nice honeymoon. And um, then years later, maybe for a vow renewal, they'll come back and do a big wedding. That's what I want to do. And honestly, y'all, I'm claiming it right now and I see it happening. Um, like I literally see it happening, uh, but I, we're going to be rich, rich. So why wouldn't I wait till I could do a rich, rich wedding? Like, why would I do something right now? And then I know I can come back later and, you know, really, really, Ooh, y'all, I don't know these daytime lashes, honey. I guess I want to be a baddie, right? <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. These lashes, and I swear I'm not just saying this because I'm thinking about selling them because if I didn't like them, then I just won't sell them because um, I'm kind of doing my research right now on lashes from different vendors. And I love how all the lashes I've gotten feel. Like They don't feel heavy at all like the lashes that you get from the beauty supply store. And child, look, I still wear lashes from the beauty supply store. Wispies are my favorite all-time lashes. Like I don't even care. But I they like how these feel. I can rock with them. I think they're kind of cute. Maybe once I do the rest of my face, I'll feel better. Yeah, so um, what was I saying? See, girl, the ADD kicking in. Okay, so um, oh, this is Fenty Pro Filter in 390. Why y'all didn't tell me my little Forever 21 necklace was turned? I'm sick of y'all. Y'all don't ever tell me nothing. But, um, yeah, so I just don't see the point in going into debt. Take this off. For something that's not for me anyway. Like, I want to hire a nice wedding planner. I want to um, do all of that. Like, I don't want a budget when I do my wedding. And that's not going to be for other people. That's not going to be for the production of it. It's just going to be for me, for my memories, for um, my my people that I care about to enjoy. That little stupid piece I always talk okay. So, yeah. But that's what we're going to do. And I'm trying to figure out honeymoon-wise where I want to go, though. Because I, I honestly do think we're going to just go to the courthouse. Um, probably really soon too. Probably I'm talking about like like next week soon. We just been so busy. He's been out of town a lot, and I've been working a lot, so it's just like we just have not had the time to do it. But we probably go to the courthouse, and then thinking about vacation destinations, cause I spend a bag on a vacation. I know he will too right now, cause I feel like that's something that's um, I just poke myself in the eye. That's something, that's like self-care anyway. Like, you got to do stuff like that for yourself. Sometimes you just got to get away. But, um, I'm thinking about, I don't know. Because it's 
hard when you have a toddler and you don't have nobody that you can say, hey, can you keep her for the weekend? And don't get me wrong, I've had friends that have offered and I love them, but I would honestly rather a, a close family member. Um, No offense, I swear to God, I love y'all so much, but I just, I'm funny about my baby. But I mean, we just don't have that. So it's like, and I, I don't know, I probably wouldn't even be able to go without being with my baby for days anyway. So um, we got to kind of find somewhere that's close because I wanted to go to Bali, but that's damn near a 24 hour flight. Um, that's out of the question. Um, Bore Bore, out of the question, too far. Ooh, y'all, on the top of my bucket list is Greece. I want to go to Santorini, I want to go to Athens, and I want to go to Mykonos, and I probably said that wrong, but whatever. So, I don't know, but I would probably just end up going somewhere like the Bahamas or something like that. I know, it's so cliche. Um, but I don't know, y'all. Give me some ideas. Give me some ideas for some nice vacations that have like less than an eight-hour flight. And no, I don't want to go to Miami. Don't get me wrong, I love Miami, but I feel like Miami is like a party, party city. Okay, so um, now I'm using the Ghetto Girl Favorite, and it's LA Girl Pro Conceal. Oh, I keep looking up here, I'm supposed to be looking right here. LA Girl Pro Conceal, and it's in Fawn. I use Fawn under my eyebrows, I use Toffee over my eyebrows, and I use Fawn under my eye. But I don't know, I wanna do that. We're gonna go to the courthouse, we're gonna plan a nice little vacation probably for um, the end of this year. I don't know, or maybe maybe I might wait because it's prom season starting up, y'all. And I have so many brides too right now. I have three bridal parties so far. Um, yeah, I have three bridal parties and they're not small bridal parties either, so. I'm, um, so I'm, I'm going to be pretty busy and Bay has been doing his music stuff and it's been doing really good y'all. I'm talking about like his music is streaming so well and it's streaming overseas and that's big. Like he's from the country y'all. I'm talking about like a small town, dirt roads, one grocery store, four stoplights pitch black at night y'all when i tell y'all i'll be so terrified out there but um so it's big for him y'all that that stuff has been going the way it has like dj's been reaching out to him very important people have been reaching out to him um it's just it's a lot going on it's a lot going on so um and i was saying that to say what i don't even remember Oh, yeah, I was saying that to say so. We've been busy. Mm. Now, my eyebrows make me want to dance today. They look so good. I be messing them up so bad sometimes, y'all. I get so frustrated. I'm going to be like, forget it. I got to hurry up, y'all. I'm running late, and I'm just sitting here like, I don't have nowhere to be. I got to get to the other side of town. It's so far. Mm-hmm. Oh, y'all, another thing I want to say, I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. I have 994, I want to say, and I'm super excited because I never thought that that many people would follow my, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -mm. you know, I want to see my videos. I don't know. It's just dope. It's dope. It's a thousand of y'all. I told y'all I'd be having these bald head problems. Look at this. Yeah. What you doing? What is you doing? Makeup looking good and you want to act all crazy? Okay, so now. Ooh, I was about to do that. Girl, what is you doing? Where you learn how to do makeup at? Okay, so now I'm just going to take this brush and I'm going to go back in my Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm just going to do a little, add a little depth to it around my forehead 
and up under here because oh y'all i used to neglect um putting a darker color up under here contouring up under here but when i tell you i took a picture one day and i looked like professor clump all right it was like a <laughs> looking so stupid i'm like uh-uh i need to start contouring right there because i ain't got time okay i think i'm about good i gotta get ready to get her up and get out of here she actually stayed asleep for me today she is the real mvp for real okay what else i gotta do uh, for the most part i'm done i just gotta put pressed powder on my face, I use Victoria's Secret press powder. I don't even know if they still sell it. I've had it for so freaking long. Um, oh, don't y'all hate when you do this? Oh my gosh. Cause you know us black folks dip anything in our glue to get the glue out. And I just grabbed it by the handle. Ugh. I'm glad it rolls off though. Okay, I'm forgetting something though. I'm gonna put my I use CoverGirl so lash or I use my Mac Waterfast Lash, but I'm gonna use this today. Just to Oh, have you ever did your whole makeup like all your face and then you went to do this and then you end up like making a big streak on your face? Oh. You have it? Me neither then. I don't even know what time it is. I ought to be out of here by nine, and I feel like it might be nine. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna, um, like I said, I'm gonna put my press powder on, do my highlight, and I'm gonna be up out of here. Okay, y'all. So I got my press powder. I'm gonna leave y'all hanging like that. I'm gonna go on to finish. Probably should have figured that out, huh? Y'all, this palette I told y'all about it from AliExpress, it has um, it has um, highlight highlighters highlights on it too that I really really like. It's one color called Apologetic. I don't even know what this is a dupe for, but I feel like it's a dupe for something. And then I use um, Absolute New York Spritz to fix matte setting spray. I really got to get back into my makeup, y'all. I haven't really been buying stuff like that. And I'm going to start for my YouTube videos. I'm going to start trying different stuff. It's just a little um, Ruby Kisses lip liner. I bought my lips so bad. I always like my lips. My nerves are bad. Oh, I need a mustache whack. That's what they say in the beauty. I mean, in the um, in the nail shop. Oh, you honey, you need a whack. I need a whack. What do you mean I need a whack? Oh, honey, you need a lip whack. But not whack my lips. <laughs> Y'all silly. Okay. Okay, I always do a gloss. I'm going to try something matte, y'all. scared. I don't know. It's a pretty color, but... Oh, my God. That feels... I kind of do. Oh, what's going on out right here? That's actually really pretty. I bought this and never used it. It's the color 
sandstorm. And this is the NYX liquid suede. Do I put more than this? I don't know. Let me see how this do. Cause sometimes these, this thing like these be um, getting in the cracks of your lips. And y'all, my lips get dry, dry. Mm. Cute. Okay, I actually like this. Why have I been y'all look? I got so many lip glosses and stuff I have not used just because I'm I get so stuck in what I'm doing. But anyway, I'm not gonna sit here and talk y'all to death. I'm about to get up out of here. Um I'm about to head to this doctor's appointment. But yeah, thank you guys for getting ready with me. That was actually a lot better than doing this by myself, okay? Because it gets so boring and I be talking to myself, but at least I could talk to y'all. Um, and it's not, it's kind of like I'm talking to myself, but it's not really like I'm talking to myself because I know that y'all gonna eventually be talking back to me. So it made me feel a little less crazy. All right, I'm gonna go now. Okay, y'all, so I just made it to my appointment. Um, but, uh, Go in here and get this treatment. So yeah, get my life together. It's chilly out here. What in the world? I'm like, it's ridiculously chilly today. It really feels like fall all of a sudden. It's a. Say hey. Hey. Okay. Say hi guys. Hi guys. Okay. Been undressed, but I'm just um showing you guys. The room that I come in to get my treatment. Oh my shoes. I'm on the table right now. She had to step out real quick. I just wanted to give y'all a quick lash cam, honey, up close. But I know I said I didn't like these at first, but you guys, I love them. I gotta come up with a good name for these babies. Okay, y'all, so um I'm done with my treatment. Be sure to follow us on Instagram. Come on, guys. No, I don't want to save no five cents a gallon. Joining no thing. Shoot. Um so I let this one out her car seat just for a second and this is where she ends up. But um, I just left my treatment, y'all. Um, I'm kind of staying a little bit or whatever, but it always stings afterwards for like a minute because your skin gets so hot. But when I tell you, baby, the next day, and the day after that, you can be looking so good. But um, but yeah, so y'all look, when I went to, um, when I went to my treatment today, it was a celebrity DJ there that's um, doing a treatment with them too. And he's doing it publicly, so I'm not telling nobody business. But um, I wanted so bad to be like, hey, can you go listen to Relationship Goals by Chavo featuring China and J-Love? So y'all, I was like, I ain't gonna do that because I know how it, 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 it gotta feel like when you out and you're doing stuff and then people coming up to you asking you to do this or do that. Or I know people get sick of it, so I'm not gonna do that. Um And I feel good. I'm about to go to the fabric store, finish up the rest of the stuff that I got to do for the day. And this was my first attempt at a get ready with me video. And I don't know if I did it right or wrong, but I hope you guys enjoy it either way. Just give me feedback. Let me know what you guys think. I would appreciate it so much as always. All right. Talk to y'all later. And until the meantime, live, love, and go be fierce.